there's a lot of screaming, a lot of action sometimes. When you think of San Francisco's gritty tenderloin, you probably don't picture rolling grasslands or spacious playgrounds. <laughs> For tenderloin resident Tracy Martinez, Bodecker Park is the closest thing to having a yard. We play freestyle and we just talk and hang out. The more than one acre park sits in the middle of one of the city's densest and most troubled neighborhoods. While its offering of open space is a rare commodity in the urban core, activists say its layout needs some work. Right now the park is so fenced in. It's in different little areas, very ugly black fences here. And many people have said this reminds me of a prison. The park has become a hodgepodge of add-ons since it opened in the 80s on the site of a former bowling alley at Eddie and Jones, but now it's about to get a second life. And this is going to be a much bigger lawn that where you can run and jump and play and skip. <laughs> the Trust for Public Land, a group devoted to preserving open space across the U.S., has taken an interest in Bodecker Park. The organization is spearheading a nearly $6 million campaign to give Bodecker a facelift. This is going to be their Yosemite. This is their backyard where they can run and play or sit under a tree or exercise or get out and breathe fresh air. The plans will remove many of the park's menacing black fences. It will add a soccer field, basketball court, outdoor gym, and a new clubhouse. There are bioswales that will capture 95% of the, of the stormwater. In a neighborhood where many families live in single-room occupancy hotels, activists say space is the luxury few can afford. Having a place, again, where you can stretch out, where you can play, where you can run around, and it's okay to run around. It's, you know, again, you can't uh, calculate the importance of it. The city says the downside is the park will close for nearly two years following an August groundbreaking. But in the end, there are hopes its rolling green space will bear little resemblance to the concrete world around it. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.